I think that Cindy Lou Who is a kind-hearted soul who's a bit of an optimist. And I think that she is looking for genuine love and community and, and uh, acceptance and uh, is just trying to make her world and Whoville and everything a, a better place by including everyone. I just wanted everybody to be together for Christmas. Hey, I'm Taylor Momsen and I'm flashing back to How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Dad? Yeah? Doesn't this seem like a bit much? This is what Christmas is all about. I do remember having a lot of fun on that set. I mean, like the prosthetics, for, for example, like everyone, you know, all the Who's wore prosthetics, but I was too young to actually wear the prosthetics. So they wrote a line into the film of she hasn't even grown into her nose yet because I wasn't, I couldn't have all the, so they just put a little blush on my nose. And I remember it was the first time I've ever worn a wig, I had ever worn a wig in my life. Uh, so it was, you know, putting all my hair into the bobby pins and the wig cap and then the big wig every day. Uh, it was the first time I ever wore fake eyelashes and I had the fake teeth. And I remember like the fake teeth, I hated the taste of the glue that went in that covered, that made the big teeth. And so I, would, I wouldn't I would take them out once I put them in and I would eat with them and everything. <laughs> it was a bit of uh, what we called who school, um, <laughs> which is because there's so many uh, kind of acrobat acrobats and contortionists and and you know the who's have all these you know walking on top of balls and all these all these things uh it was about a month of of who training of learning how to do the stunts and things like that because i i did most of the stunts myself um and so i had to you know learn all the safety protocols and how to fall down a trap door without <laughs> getting hurt and all that, and all of that stuff so i remember that being it was like who boot camp The Grinch! How I see it in my head is I remember there's the scene where uh, the Grinch, Jim Carrey, pulls the lever and I fall through the trap door. Really? No. That was a real trap door. And so I actually, he pulled that and I fell through the door and we had to do that a few times. Uh, which, you know, I was young, so I thought all of that stuff was so much fun. Uh, and when I fall through that, it goes, I go down a huge slide. And I remember in order to get to the top of that slide, behind the scenes, we had to, you had to climb up the slide itself. There weren't stairs. So you had to, it was like a slick grease slide and you had to climb up with a rope um, to get to the top and then slide down it in Candyland. It was, it was a ball. <laughs> all the stunts and stuff I, I, I love. Getting to work with Ron Howard and with Jim Carrey was just amazing. I mean, Jim Carrey's performance alone is, is so incomparable that uh, to be a part of something um, at such a young age that to this day is still, you know, every year comes around and, you know, brings happiness and joy to the world is, is, such, a, is such an amazing thing that, uh, that I got to be a part of that. Merry Christmas, Mr. Grinch. I mean, I just remember he was, I remember him being so kind, so, uh, so concerned, but so methodical with what he was doing. I mean, it was, it was really, even at that young, young of an age, I remember watching him and going, I'm watching an artist right now at work. Uh, but uh, no, I just remember Ron being just the sweetest person ever and just, and so genuinely um, kind and able to communicate with, with me and, and, uh, get what he needed and what he wanted out of out of me to to get to portray the character that he needed to add to his film and and I mean to to get to work with someone so iconic like that at such a young age is is really I'm truly blessed um, to have that experience under my under my belt I guess <laughs> I think that people love the Grinch just simply because the core of the story is so so sweet and it's so heartwarming and it has such a good message that no matter what age I think touches your heart. And I think that that's, you know, that I think that that's an amazing thing to be a part of. And then the fact that, you know, it comes back around every year, it's something, I think it's something to look forward to. And 
I think it just kind of brings happiness and joy to, you know, anyone who, who watches it. And I'm so glad, you know, dare I say it, it might be a classic now. <laughs> People bring up The Grinch to me oh, quite a bit, uh, especially around, I mean, obviously around Christmas, but I think it's, it, it's certainly funny now when, uh, people don't realize that I played Cindy Lou Who and they might know me from my music or something and they put two and two together and you get the giant reaction of, I can't believe that's the same girl in How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And I I, th I, I get a huge kick out of that because I just go, well, I'm kind of kind of the same person though. Like, I'm, I, you know, I grew up, but I think deep down, I, I still got a lot of Cindy Lou Who in me. <laughs> And I think, honestly, the thing that I remember the most um, that probably resonated with me to this day um, as an adult is The Grinch was the first time that I went into a recording studio um, and got to work with the amazing James Horner. Uh, and I, I'll never forget walking into this beautiful studio with this immaculate console in front of me and putting headphones on and singing into a microphone for the first time, singing Where Are You Christmas? It was such a such an impactful moment in my life because it, it made me go, I want to make music for the rest of my life. I love, I love being in a recording studio. I love being behind a microphone and I love everything about it. And and that really, it was a huge uh, turning point and, and put me into the position of, of, of a mindset to be where I am now and today. Of, of, I'm going to make music for the rest of my life. Well, we have a, a new single out right now. It's called Death by Rock and Roll. Um, and we have a new album of the same title, Death by Rock and Roll, coming out in the new year, which I'm very excited for people to hear. It is, uh, it is the fourth record. Um, it's our fourth record. And in a lot of ways, this, this album really feels like a rebirth for the band. Um, we went through a lot of loss and a lot of tragedy over the past few years. Um, and and this record is really kind of a culmination of all of that, of, of this uh, rebirth. It, it very much feels like we, we had we had we kind of lost everything and had to basically start from scratch and relearn how to do this. And uh, and I'm just I'm really excited for people to hear it because I think it's I think we really created something special and uh, and it'll be coming out soon. <laughs>